If you heard this, bro, somebody lied to you. Madden 20 is going to be the same game as Madden 19. All right, you got to just say, you got to look at them and say, look, you know what? Yo, bro, you know, yo, yo, hey, you see that door right there? Use it. Th that's what I'm going to recommend that you tell that person that tells you that. Because listen, I've been telling you guys over the last four years how much disdain I've had for Madden. When I can tell you that I played the game the entire weekend and enjoyed it, even when I lost to people and then we had conversations after and it wasn't like, yo, you're a bum. You know, like my usual stuff, like if you guys watch my streams and I'm playing against dudes in Madden 19, it's like, you know what? Yo, bro, this dude's garbage. I was going wild. Bro, it was just GG's. Why is that, bro? Why was I able to do that? Because I knew that the mistakes that I made, it was a reason behind it. That was the issue. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's something to what you got to understand. Look, it's certain things that's within the game that makes it a lot different than what it is. All right? You have to be able to counteract every single thing that the player is doing on both sides of the ball. So when you look at a guy like Alvin Kamara, and then you have somebody tell you like, yo, it's the same game, bro. Yo, it's Band-Aids on the game, bro. It's going to be... You, you got to let that guy know or girl know, whoever's saying it, bro, the alien uh, from American Dad. If it's Roger, you got to let him know. Like, listen, listen, listen. Do me a favor, bro. Just go away and don't come back. You see what I'm saying? Because this is the situation. Those people are very, very upset about the game because either they didn't get a beta or they got the beta and realized that they're going to have a nightmare of a game in 20 because they can't get away with the stuff that they were doing prior. Now, when I'm going to go through some things right now that I have it paused right here on Kamara with his star abilities and his superstar X Factor, right? When you see those things and you're playing against it, immediately you're going to understand that it's just not the same game. This alone that I'm showing you right now is going to make you understand as soon as you get Madden 20 and you get into your first head-to-head -head game, you play the CPU and it's on like competitive or whatever, you're gonna be able to see that it's absolutely a different game. So whoever's saying that stuff, you gotta understand that it's, it's a lot of different reasons behind why people do what they do. Like for instance, with me, because I've played Madden so long, I understand a lot of things that go into what comes out of the game. Um, there's a lot of myths about what was going on in prior Maddens. There's a lot of different things. Okay, DDA this, DDA that, I'm gonna pick your mom's up, do her at eight. There's a lot of things that have been rumored around. But at the end of the day, with the way that this game plays, because every single attribute matters, it's a very, very difficult thing to try to, you know, just say, all right, it's the same exact game as Madden 19. Now it looks like Madden 19, with the exception of the scoreboard. It looks exactly like the same game, but nothing is the same with it because the player movement, the way that the guys react, the way that you can see that these guys are actual stars, a lot of the things that, that are involved with Madden 20, completely different game. So now that I've broken that down to you to kind of give you some insight into what's going on, if you're able to activate satellite, you immediately see a difference in Alvin Kamara. Now remember, with the red chems, a lot of them just didn't work. There were refunds at the beginning of Madden 19 where they gave us back training points. They gave us back a lot of stuff because in my opinion, like I told you, if you go back to my Madden 19 videos, I told you guys they were experimenting with us. We were like gerbils, bro, or mouse, or whatever, whatever, bro. It, it doesn't really matter. They were experimenting to see what works. And I know it sounds kind of bad. And it's like, yo, bro, what are you doing? You should be testing it, whatever, doing, you know, before the game is released. But what's better than live testing? What do you think you were just a part of with the beta? That's what you were. You were just, you're just a tester. And they made it close so that everybody couldn't go wild and put out certain glitches all over the uh, internet without actual, you know, visual evidence and proof with the feedback of it. Because now they have the opportunity to look at what's going on with it. But in all honesty, the beta that we played, that's going to be pretty much the game that we're going to get. And if it's just like that, I will be very, very satisfied. Even if they don't tune anything, I don't care if they don't tune the windups, bro, because I figured out how to throw the ball faster regardless of the quarterback. Madden is Madden, okay? The only thing that made Madden different was OBJ doing that one-handed catch on the Cowboys in a loss. You know what I'm saying? Dude stretched out like Stretch Armstrong. It changed Madden forever. The developers got crazy, and they just made everybody be able to do the OBJ catch. And that's what they've really been rebounding from since. If you just look at the history of Madden, that was the biggest change. Like, that has nothing on the vision cone. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing on uh, Ball Hawk being initiated. That, that was one of the most disturbing things that could ever happen to Madden. And I think at this point, 
with the addition of things like double me and not being able to make these dudes just go out and do whatever they want every single play, it actually changes the game for the better. It makes it so that, all right, a game can't start and a dude comes out and just mosses me into another galaxy. If he wants to do that to me, he got to work his way up to that. It's like a lot of you guys, like, yo, bro, you should be able to do this. You should be able to do that. No. Do you go out on your first date and just say, you know what? Let's go to the hotel. Like, if you do, then that's not the kind of woman you should have. You got to work your way up to things, bro. So you got to work your way up to satellite. But in, in the meantime, you got star abilities. You got matchup nightmare. You got running back apprentice. You got a lot of things that you'll be able to do every single snap. And this is just something that's going to be part of the card. Now remember, with Madden 19, everyone pretty much played the same. So for those people that are saying it's the same exact game, it's, it's already null and void. It doesn't make any sense. See, this is the thing that I have to try to explain to a lot of people when I talk to them, either it's you know through a video or in person. Common sense is free. So I don't know why most people don't use it. Because if somebody is telling you something and your eyes are showing you something completely different, why are you even paying attention to that person? It doesn't make any sense. For me, when I was raging in 19, I showed you guys why I was raging. Now, if you didn't agree with it, you still had the visual proof of it. Through a rage compilation, whatever I was doing, I was streaming, I always show you what I'm upset about and I explain why it's making me upset. If somebody's telling you that Madden 20 is the same game and you see all these new additions and you're willing to listen, you're part of the problem. And that's what the issue is because it doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you do that? How, how do I tell you that if you're running with Alva Kamara and you do a juke move and the guy actually gets juke, but if you're running with Todd Gurley and you try to juke and he doesn't actually get juke, but you stiff arm him and it's a successful stiff arm and he has a star ability of armbar, how is it the same game? You see what I'm saying? Because wouldn't it realistically be that they both did the same exact things? How many of you guys have been trucked for like 10 yards with Barry Sanders? Write it in the comments. You see what I'm saying? How are you trucking like you're Derrick Henry? The game was, everybody was doing whatever they wanted. It was all the same thing. It's no longer like that. You know what else is kind of ill when I hear people say it's the same game? I went into franchise mode, right? And I played with different running backs. You know what I'm saying? Zeke, all these guys, Le'Veon Bell, whatever, right? Try to spin move with both of those guys and then try to stiff arm with both of those guys. And it's different animations. How is it the same game? That's why I'm continuing, I'm just asking you things that you can ask whoever is saying that it's the same game. How is that the same if when you play Madden 19, if you do a big spin, like everybody's spinning, my mom's, every, bro, bro, my dad, like, every, bro, the coach is getting spun. Every, like, it's just, like, bro, what is going, Tasmanian devil action? Everybody does the same exact thing. Not like, not in this game. It's not the same thing. If you, got, if you guys have played uh, the beta, you guys pretty much understand what I'm saying. If you guys have seen um, any other type of gameplay throughout, like what I'm showing you now with certain aspects, you can visibly see that the players respond differently and that it's not the same thing. Not only that, if you've played Madden 19 and you've had the best run blocker, put your hands up in the air if you had the best run blocker. Kyle Juice check, you had everybody, bro, like whoever. Neil, a legend, whatever and they have a player right in front of them and would not block them. Has that happened to you in Madden 19? During my weekend of playing the beta, whoever, like you could pretty much assign through, you know, like, you know, with the man assign on offense, I don't know if you guys know about that little trick. You could assign who you want to actually block to make sure that that person gets blocked. 100% of the time, they block the person that I ID. But that's a, that's a run game trick that you guys probably uh, haven't seen. Like I have it in one of my videos from Madden 19, how to run run the ball effectively. You can ID the player that you want your fullback or your tight end to actually block. And if they're blitzing off a corner blitz because you're running a toss or whatever, they go out and block that player. Um, I show you how to set it up, like I said, in one of the tutorials uh, for Madden uh, 19, but they actually block. They actually go and do what they're supposed to do. Wasn't that one of the biggest complaints of 19? I ask you again. How is it the same game? These are the things that you have to realize. And like I said, for the most part, a lot of you guys have understood what I'm trying to make you, make you guys understand. Um, I, I will not tolerate complete idiocy in the comments. You will be banned effective immediately if you're not adding any um, emphasis into what you're saying. Like, don't give me a bland statement if the game is garbage. Explain to me why you think the game is garbage. Let's have some dialogue with the other people that actually played the beta and let's get a conversation going. Once again, if somebody told you it's the same game, they lied to you. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.